Finally, we have the types of glands of the human body. Here we have three types of glands. We mentioned in the previous video at the beginning uh, that there are um, endocrine glands, exocrine glands, and there are also mixed glands. There are mixed glands. So, what's the definition of each one of these? We have endocrine glands. Endocrine glands are glands that don't have ducts. They pour their secretions directly into the blood stream. An example for that is the pituitary gland. They are ductless. Okay. We have exocrine glands. Exocrine glands are glands that have ducts. So they compose of two parts. We have a secretory part, the part that makes the secretions, plus a duct or a bundle or a group of ducts that carry the secretion to the um, uh, the organ that's supposed to receive the secretion. Um, there are two types of exocrine glands. We have exocrine glands that pour their secretions inside a body cavity. For example, salivary glands. And we have another type of exocrine glands that pour their secretions outside the body cavity. For example, sweat glands. Sweat glands. So, um, as in the structure of the skin, we have the sweat glands. There's a, a coil in here, and this is the blood supply or the gland. This is the gland. Okay, and this is the duct. And finally, we have a pore in the skin through which the sweat is expelled. So, this is a type of exocrine glands. Finally, we have mixed glands, glands that have both functions. They can pour their secretions directly into the bloodstream, and they have another secretions that um, are directed into ducts so that they can reach their organs. An example for a mixed gland is the pancreas, where it um, have, have a duct, which is called the pancreatic duct, through which it pours the pancreatic juice to the duodenum in order to um, support the process of digestion. And it actually also produces hormones like insulin directly into the blood stream to regulate the glucose level. So that's, that's it for today and the next time we will begin talking about the endocrine glands. We will um, talk about the pituitary gland. So until then I thank you for watching and see you.